Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I will show how to make this animation with Duik Basil 2 and After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, vectors from freepeed.com. I will add download link and project files. First one, let's select this layer object and go to solo. Click this icon for C background and let's make little rig with puppet pin tools. So go to puppet pin and let's add one puppet here and one here and one here. Click session tool. And select this object. Let's press U for see only keyframes. Okay, this is puppet pin one here and pin two here and pin three. Okay, so then go to layer, new and new object, and press S, change scale, and for move to anchor point center, hold Ctrl, double click from behind icon, click selection tool again. And move to here. Nice. And change name 1. Then let's duplicate this null object. Ctrl D. And move to here. Change name 2. Okay. This is 2 already. And let's Ctrl D again. Move to here. Like this. Okay. So select this puppet pin 3. Let's see. Okay. Let's select this null one. Let's move it up a little bit. Let's select again the forms. Okay, that's good. So for rigging, I will use expression, and of course, I will share this in the session below. You can use it's already free. And let's select this Control C and first puppet pin. Let's hold Alt, click this time icon. And let's delete these expressions and control V for paste. Okay, and select this new layer name, change one. And for done expression, click this empty area. Okay, let's select this null one. Let's see. Okay, very nice. Okay, so let's close puppet pin one, then hold alt click this time icon for puppet two. Control V and change new layer name to click here again and close puppet 2 and finally puppet 3. Hold Alt click here, Control V and scroll up and change this new layer name 3. Click here and close object settings. Then let's select this new object 1. Nice. Null object 2. Okay. And null object 3. Okay, very good. Rigging is down and let's unsolo all layers. Okay, that's good. So, let's select this character body. Go to solo. And select from behind the icon. Move the anchor point down. Clicization tool. And on solo, select this hand to go to solo. Okay, and select palm behind, move the anchor point up, clicization tool, and on solo. And select this hand tool, let's link to body. Okay. So select this hand one and go to solo. Okay, let's make puppet pins for this hand. Select hand 1, go to pipette pin. Let's add one here, one here, and here. Click session tool and go to here, change puppet engine legacy. Click OK. Then select this hand 1 and go to window, open Duik Basil 2. OK, and let's select this hand 1, select here puppet and go to click rigging icon and click add bones 
Okay, right now we have three bones and let's make links. Select is puppet pin 3. Let's link to puppet pin 2. Select puppet pin 2, link to puppet pin 3. And select puppet pin 3. Let's link to layer body. And select these three puppet pins or bones. Back to Duik and click auto rig I key. Okay, nice. So, let's see. Okay, nice rigging. Let's close Duik and close controller settings. Let's unsolo all layers. Okay, very nice. So in this time, select this null object one. Let's link to controller. Select controller, let's see. Okay, very nice. Let's again here. Okay, very nice, very good. So in this time, let's zoom to here. And let's select this object. Layer on and finger main, fingers. Go to solo. Okay, so select this layer on and let's see. Okay, select pump behind, move the anchor point here, clearization tool and move the back. Okay, so in this time, let's select this layer on and let's link to null object one and select this finger main. Let's link to also new object one and fingers link to one. Okay. So in this time, let's select these fingers moved up here. Okay. And select finger main moved up. Okay. And let's move the anchor point here like this. And let's unsolo all layers and select this controller. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So in this time, let's select this layer car body. And let's control D. And go to FX presses, search effect. Who has saturation? Select who has saturation. Let's use for car body 2. And click this checkbox. Let's change color like this. Okay, nice. Let's see. Okay, very nice. And in this time, let's select this eye white layer and click S, click this icon. Okay, we can animate it eyes like this. And select this eye black. Let's click toggle switch mode. And let's link to this alpha matte to eye white. Select eye black. Okay. And enable eye white. Let's see. Okay, very nice. Let's hide glass layer. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So select this eye white and let's make sketch a frame. Go to switch a frame. One, two, three. Change scale five. Go to switch a frame again. One, two, three. Change 100. Select three frames, make easy. Okay, so select these three frames, control C and let's control V random ice blink animation. And enable layer glass. Then select these I white and I black and glass layer. Let's link to here. Select here link to body and select here to go to solo select palm behind icon move the anchor point here let's unsolo let's move to here press air let's see okay nice click session tool so in this time let's select these controller layer 
and let's make animation keyframes. Go to first second, press P, make new passing keyframe, and go to five keyframes here. And let's move to back and go to here. Move to up like this, and here. Move to back, and this is random keyframes. You can make your keyframes how to like you. Okay, let's see. Okay, not bad. Okay, so let's select keyframes and make easies. Okay, nice. So in this time, let's select this car body two, and let's go to FX presets, search FX turbulent displays, and let's use for car body two. Okay, let's change displacement like this and let's change settings okay let's try like this and change complexity for random colors okay not bad and in this time select this car body tool let's select alpha let's link to car body and again enable car body layer okay select this car body tool and let's go to rectangle tool let's make mask like this and click selection tool move to left and open mask one make mask pad and go to here and move to right mask like this let's see nice and in this time let's make amount keyframe and size keyframe and complexity keyframe go to here and let's change like this and change this one okay let's change this five five is good and change this zero let's see okay not bad okay that's good So also we can make body keyframe, select this body and go to here, press R, make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframe, click here, write plus 10, click OK and change rotation 3 or 4, let's see, OK, go to here, make new rotation, go to 10 keyframe again. For shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard and change this minus 4. And go to here, change again 4 and like this, make new rotation. Go to here, change 0. And select keyframes, make easy. Okay, nice. Let's select keyframes, move to left. And select this hand layer. And go to first second, let's press R. And hold Alt, click this time icon for open expression. And let's write here, wiggle, one, nine. 
click this empty area let's see okay not bad also select this here to press air hold alt click this time icon and right here wiggle one ten let's see Okay, nice. So, let's close keyframe settings and select this hand controller, press U and select this new object too and press P and go to here. Let's make new passing keyframe and go to next keyframe. Let's move to left. Okay, and go to here. Move to right. Okay, nice. And go to here again. Move to left and down. And here, move to right. And again, move to down. Select three frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Nice rigging. Okay, so finally, let's make spray animation. Let's close three frame settings. and let's go to pen tool and go to here let's make one line like this and chain stroke width five or three go to fill close fill color and go to stroke color, let's select color green. Okay, and clearization tool, let's open inside contents, shape one and stroke one and click these dashes plus icon. Okay, nice. And let's select the shape layer one Let's link to this null object one. Let's see. And in this time, let's hold alt, click this offset keyframe and right here, time and 95. Click this empty area. Let's see. Okay, let's change this minus 95. Nice, but I want to fast animation. Change this 500. Okay, change this 2000. Again, slow. Let's change 8000. Okay, this is not bad. Let's try change more keyframes, more speed. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's close keyframe settings and why problem here? Let's fix it. Let's open inside layer and open pet one, make new pet keyframe. And let's go to five keyframes, move to down, and go to here, move to down again, again, move to down, okay, let's see.
Let's select the shape layer, press U and hold shift press R, open rotation, go to here, make rotation keyframe and go to here, chain rotation like this. Okay, let's make new rotation keyframe. Go to here, chain rotation a little bit. And make keyframes easy. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.